After receiving the inverter, please check the outer packaging. If any damaged or the inverter model does not match, please contact the dealer or installer. After unpacking, please check according to the list of items. If there are any abnormalities such as missing or damaged, please contact the dealer or installer. We have accessories on the top, including one user manual and one quick installation guide, one package of all the small accessories, one wall bracket, Lift the X3 Hybrid Inverter out of the packing box. Take out wall mounting bracket. When installation, please use a digital level to make sure the bracket is at a horizontal position. Mark holes with a marker on the wall. Drill holes at previous marked spots. Note, avoid drilling holes in the utility pipes or cables attached to the back of the wall. Take out expansion bolts. Insert expansion bolts into the five holes. Unscrew the nuts on the expansion bolts. Screw the nuts on the expansion bolts. Hang the inverter onto the bracket. Here are PB cables and ground cable. Take out the rest accessories. There are three negative DC connectors, three positive DC connectors, one positive battery connector, one negative battery connector, one pin terminal, several AC terminals, and two set screws. Put the ring terminal on the strips core wire and tighten the ring terminal on the wire with a terminal crimping tool. Slip the heat shrink tube, which is prepared and inserted ahead of time, onto the ring terminal end. Here are four AC output power cables. One blue cable, one red cable, one green cable, and one yellow cable will go accordingly into AC terminal N port, line 3 port, line 2 port, and line 1 port later. Insert the heat shrink tube into cable, then put the AC terminal on the strips core wire. Tighten the AC terminal on the wire with a terminal crimping tool. Do the same on all the cables. Prepare accessories to assemble DC cables. Assemble the DC cable accessories in accordance. Tighten the negative pin connector on the cable with a terminal crimping tool. Assemble the negative DC connector and screw the nut on. Repeat the same steps to finish the positive DC cable assembling. Tighten the pin connector on the wire with a terminal crimping tool. Positive battery cable accessories. Negative battery cable accessories. Assemble the positive battery cable with accessories. Ensure that the crimped pin connector is securely connected with the cable. Assemble and screw the positive cable nut. Assemble the negative battery cable with accessories. Ensure that the crimped pin connector is securely connected with the cable. Assemble and screw the negative cable nut. Battery cables finished.
Remove the inverter cover plate. Unscrew the screw on the ground connection terminal. Insert the screw through the ring terminal and screw it back. And tighten or make it securely connected. Remove the watertight caps on the two PV ports and insert the two PV cables into two ports. If no PV string is connected to a DC input terminal, don't remove the watertight caps to ensure the IP rating. Connect the negative battery cable into the negative battery port and the positive battery cable into the positive battery port. Unscrew the cap on the BMS port. Insert the BMS cable into the BMS port and screw the cap on the BMS port tightly. Unscrew the cap on the grid port. Insert the AC output power cables through the grid port. Use a torque screwdriver. To tighten the screws on the AC terminal. Screw the cap on the grid port tightly. Unscrew the cap on the EPS port and insert EPS cables through EPS port. Use a Torx screwdriver. To tighten the screws on the EPS terminal. Final look of connection on AC terminal and EPS terminal. Screw the cap on the EPS port tightly. Connect the ground cable on the ground terminal on the right side of the master battery. Remember to connect the ground cable on the ground terminal on the left side of the slave battery, which is not shown in the video. Connect the ground cable on the ground terminal on the left side of the master battery. Remember to connect the other end to the left side of the slave battery, which is not shown in the video. Unscrew and remove the small cover plate on the Wi-Fi port. Connect the dongle with the antenna. Connect the Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi port. Tighten the four screws on the Wi-Fi port. Unpacking EPS box. Accessories are all in one package. We have one EPS, one accessory package, one installation guide, one package of cushion blocks, a prepared screwdriver. Use self-tapping screws to tighten the cushion blocks on the back of EPS box. Insert the EPS cables through the caps. Fasten the screws on the grid terminal to make sure all cables are firmly connected. Please confirm all cables are firmly connected. Tighten the grid nut. Insert the EPS cables through the caps. Fasten the screws on the EPS terminal to make sure all cables are firmly connected. Please confirm all cables are firmly connected. Loosen the screws. Connect and tighten the EPS load cables on the AC contractor A. Please confirm all cables are firmly connected. This is final grid connection. This is final EPS connection. This is final load connection. Unscrew the cap on the meter port. Insert the communication cable through the port and screw the nuts. Find the left two ports on the green pin terminal. Insert the blue 485A cable and white 485B cable to the terminal. Screw the two cables tightly on the terminal ports. Check the ports again. Screw and fix the green pin terminal on the inverter. Insert the communication cable into the ports. Blue 485A cable to A and white 485B cable to B. Tighten the screws to fix the two cables.
Shint Meter Connection Diagram. Insert the communication cable into the ports. Blue 485A cable to port 24 and white 485B cable to port 25. And tighten the screws. Confirm all the devices are firmly installed and all the cables are connected securely. This is the final system diagram with all the cables connected. Switch the DC breaker on. Switch the DC switch on. Switch the AC breaker on. The hybrid storage system is active now. Unpacking the battery box. We have accessories on the top, including one user manual, one quick installation guide, one CAN communication cable, one series connected plug, one positive power line, and one negative power line. Screws and terminals all in one package. One wall bracket, two small cover plates, and two side cover plates. Connect the positive power line on the right side of the master battery. Connect the negative power line on the right side of the master battery. Connect the communication cable on the right side of the master battery. Connection finished. Connect the positive power line on the left side of the slave battery. Connect the negative power line on the left side of the slave battery. Connect the communication cable on the left side of the slave battery. Connect the series connected plug on the right side of the slave battery. Connection finished. Connect the ground cable on the master battery. Connect the ground cable on the slave battery. Remove the upper cover board on the master battery. Remove the small cover plate. Rotate the dip to one. And switch the circuit breaker to on. Press down the power button and wait for the battery to start operating. Green lights on the status indicates that the battery is working normally. Stick the patch on the connector. Insert the cable through the waterproof plug and connector. Insert the cable into the RJ45 port. Use the RJ45 crimping tool to compact the communication cable. Connect the RJ45 port with the connector. and screw the waterproof plug. BMS communication cable finished.